Now that Hurricane Sandy has ravaged the most densely populated area of the United States, the task of calculating the economic impact has begun. In New York City, mass transit, the circulatory system of the economy, has been shut for days and will struggle to get back on track in the coming days. Early estimates place the total damage between 15 and 20 billion dollars. Economists say that's likely to be reflected at the local level. Now that the storm is, is ending, the issue is how long will it take for workers to get back to work, particularly in the New York area, so that'll be more lost output. I think we're going to be dealing with a broader question of what's going to happen to small businesses. Many are already struggling. Chu Yun of Nano Gourmet is seeing big lines now. But with power out at his store, he doesn't expect his luck to last. If you don't get the power back until the today, maybe three to four hours, then we have to throw out or throw, throw into the garbage. We cannot use it. Travel and tourism are also taking a hit. Airline disruptions spread across the nation and overseas, stranding passengers from Hong Kong to Europe. In New York's trendy Chelsea area, floodwaters and power disruptions mean food needs to be immediately tossed. Ah, uh, man, these are families in here, so we're talking about a ton of food. Um, I mean, a couple hundred each, each apartment, easily, yeah. Well, there is a flip side. What has been thrown to the curbside in most cases will need to be replaced. Analysts say that will give a boost to the economy. The positive benefit, though, of the storm is that there are opportunities for reconstruction. Not only are there, uh, is there repair of already damaged transportation uh, infrastructure and also homes, but some of, uh, homes and buildings, but some of these areas may have needed work beforehand. As for Wall Street, trading has been suspended for two consecutive days, something not seen since 1888. However, the New York Stock Exchange says trading will resume on Wednesday morning. It will likely be running at full power. Warren Levinson, Associated Press, New York.